Welcome! In this tutorial series, we'll take a guided tour of Edison, FL Studio's advanced wave editor and recorder plugin. Use the index in the video information below if you're looking for something specific. In this video, we'll explain the custom envelopes in Edison. Edison has four built in envelopes for different parameters panning, volume, stereo separation, and all purpose. Click their respective buttons on the bottom left to edit them. Right click to add points and click and drag them to move them. To delete points, right click them and select delete or go to step edit mode and right click and drag over the graph. This mode also lets you draw freehand curves. Hold Alt to temporarily disable snapping. In the panning envelope, the top means 100% panning to the right, the bottom is 100% left and the center is… well, the center. When using the volume envelope, minus infinite decibels is at the bottom, zero decibels is in the vertical center and the top is plus six decibels. The stereo separation envelope is a mid-side balance. Mid is the sum of left and right channels divided by two. That means everything that is the same on the left and right channel, also known as the mono sum. And side is the difference of left and right divided by two. At the top, the envelope sums audio to mono. And at the bottom, it leaves only the differences between left and right, making the signal artificially wider provided there are differences between left and right to begin with. On a mono sound, this will change nothing. It's important to know that this envelope is applied before the panning and volume envelope. So if you have the sound panned all the way to one side in the panning envelope, summing to mono in the stereo separation envelope will have no effect. Volume Panning and stereo separation are applied live when playing back in Edison, so you can preview them after you've made changes by pressing play in Edison. The live preview, however, is only a smooth approximation of your envelope settings. To hear them in full sample accurate glory, you'll have to apply them. Go to the Tools menu and select Mix Down Amp Envelopes or press Ctrl E on your keyboard to render the envelopes into your audio. The All Purpose Envelope can do a few different things. Yeah! However, it can't be previewed live at all. It has to be rendered to hear it. For example, it can be used to play back a WAV file at different speeds, similar to scratching. To use it for that, go to the Tools menu and select Scratch Envelope to apply it. When it's used this way, it will behave in a similar way to the Time Envelope in Gross Beat or Wave Traveler. It will change the playback speed based on the tension of the automation line. Use straight lines to change the speed between two control points. Use curved lines to make the speed gradually increase or decrease between two control points. Another use of the All Purpose Envelope is the Paste Mix Envelope option in the Edit menu. It uses the All Purpose Envelope to determine the mix level of the audio you copied onto the clipboard that will be added to the selection. I'll clear this section here and use the All Purpose Envelope to mix in the previous section I copied. You can also use the All Purpose Envelope to fade between different undo stages, which makes it a really powerful tool for sound design. Let's make a drastic EQ setting and fade into it.
go to the Edit menu and select Undo Mix Envelope. Select the undo stage you want to mix in. Easy, since I applied EQ, I will select the one before that to mix my current audio with the audio before the EQ. Great! Now you know about Edison's envelopes and can use them to fine tune your audio files. As always, remember to check the video information for segments, any relevant manual or video links, and the music used in this video.